folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, I never heard, heard no horses. <laughs> Trying to make heaven my home. I'm tramping, tramping, trying to make heaven my home. I'm tramping, tramping, trying to make heaven my home. Well, I've never been to heaven, but I've been told. Trying to make heaven my home. They say the streets up there, they are paved with. If you get there before I do, trying to make a hit in my home. Tell all my friends that I'm a coming to, trying to make a hit in my home. That's why I'm tramping, tramping, trying to make a hit in my home. I'm tramping, tramping, trying to make a hit in my home. Walk with my children, tramping, tramping. Jordan River is a chilly and cold. To make my home. They say it chills the body, but not the soul. Oh, to make my home. Well, the that Jordan River is deep and wide. To make my home. I'm gonna get my freedom on the other side. Trying to make a heaven my home. That's why I'm tramping, tramping, trying to make. show is horses sing none of it my name is Ralph Litwin and I guess today we're honored to have Kim and Reggie Harris thanks good to be here welcome to the show thanks we are thrilled to get to be here it's good been to a see few you. years since we were here last yes it has been uh -huh. I guess 11 years about mm -hmm. who's counting yes and you've only grown old well people. thank you thank okay you so fine <laughs> she got her lines okay. <laughs> <laughs> well Reg and I have been uh, outperforming during these years and doing a few other things we'll tell you about as the show goes on and spending a lot of time with young people in schools and that's really been something because part of what we do and we actually did that did this today at a school in Short Hills uh, writing songs with young people and so we we asked the young people we said we're gonna write about peace write a song about peace today and mm -hmm. we thought well 
how does how do you feel peaceful inside yourself but also how can we make peace in the world mm -hmm. and they had some amazing thoughts that they came they up sure with sure did and we we gave them just a, a a chorus that they could work off of right like this So we gave them just that short little piece, and then they, each class worked on a different verse of the song. And sometimes it would flow, and sometimes it would be hard, and the kids would say, oh, that's hard. And we said, well, you know, because well, songwriting can be hard sometimes. And that's what is only one of the lessons, you know. We go in, we uh, talk to them about working, and, and the same thing with writing stories or mm -hmm. writing poetry. Um, and they really were, they were great. They, uh, they stayed with it for the most part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we had kids drifting off from time to time. And every now and then we'd say, okay, fine, we've been working really hard. Let's have a five minute dance party. And yeah, so, <laughs> <laughs> so Reg would play and we'd all do the twist. It, it, it was an amazing yeah, scene. Yeah, they hadn't heard about the swim. Yeah. <laughs> but those are the kinds of things that uh, we get to do in our, during the day. Uh, you know, in addition to singing songs like Trampin', Trying to Make Heaven My Home, and, and explaining to young people about the Underground Railroad. And well, we get to explain that sometimes to more uh, seasoned people also. Mm -hmm. So we've been having a lot of fun doing you know, concerts uh, for adults as well, and concerts at art centers and uh, some amazing places around the country. So mm -hmm. it's been a very uh, busy and uh, I would say productive, challenging, interesting 11 years since sure we've been has. here. So. And when it, sometimes we get to the end of the program and we've been talking about Harriet Tubman and Frederick Douglass and the Underground Railroad. And we remember one time this little girl came up and she said, we are so glad that Harriet Tubman ended slavery. And then we have to explain to the young people that at our time right now in the world, there's more slavery than there was at the time of Harriet Tubman and the Underground Railroad. Of course, these days they call it human trafficking. And Reg did write a song about that. Reading a book and uh, there were just hundreds of stories of people who had been trafficked, are being trafficked. So the song is actually taken from two of those true stories. Hey girl, I got a job for you. It's a really good chance to shine. The work's not hard, and it's not that far. Just a couple of hours away. Got a place where you can stay. People want to meet you. We can go in my car. Say you're not sure, I say. What's to know, what's to say? You need some money. I'm all about the money. Haven't I been straight with you? I've done everything I said I'd do. If it doesn't work out, you can just walk away. In the dark room, side long glances, something here don't feel so good. But your tongue's not one again, and much is understood. This family's in trouble now. Lost their crop, their only cow. Landlord's here and the food is gone. He says he'll make it good. Help them to recover what they can if their only son goes now. In the silence, sidelong glances, something he don't feel so good. They will not see that boy again. That much is understood. Too many dreams crushed in the balance. Too many hearts are broken and torn. Too many lives in a prison of sorrow. This is not why we are born. The traffic is heavy. So heavy. Oh, the traffic is heavy. There's some hope needed.
happens each and every day. Stories that seem far away, millions we don't comprehend as we live our lives. Runaways betrayed by love, little boys still dreaming of that family that sold them to survive. And it makes you think, makes you wonder how we can define ourselves this way. Will we raise our voice? Will we draw the line? Or let the slavers win the day? All around us, sidelong glances, something here don't feel so good. The money talks and we just listen, that much is understood. Too many dreams crushed in the balance, too many hearts are broken and torn. Too many lives in a prison of sorrow. Too many hearts are broken and torn Too many lies and a prison of sorrow This is not why we are born The traffic is heavy So heavy oh, The traffic is heavy Save one to end slavery, ain't just gonna happen. We've got to do something. Thank you. Thank you. Powerful song. Yeah. Well, that, it was quite a powerful moment when we realized that this young person, you know, needed to think about what she could do in our own day. And the stories in, in the book and uh, uh, Amnesty International has a great website on that as well. I did a lot of uh, reading about stories. Uh, and you know, the thing that people don't realize is that it's all over the world. Yeah. You know, it's here in America, it's in you know, all of our allies, it's in, you know, we often think of it as being in you know, small little places or only in you know, China or something. Um, those 27 million people are all over the world mm -hmm. and the, the stories are sometimes right down the block from us. Yeah. So. So, and those are the kinds of things that, that we write about, in addition to writing about things that happen in our lives, because just between the two of us, we have enough material to keep songs <laughs> going for the next 30 or 40 years. So. Yeah, we don't have to infringe on our friends quite as much anymore <laughs> to, you know, write about their lives and, you know, what's, uh, what's falling apart or, you know, or their celebrations, too. You know, it's yeah. the, uh, some, uh, some of your viewers might know, but uh, many might not, that in 2008, I had a liver transplant. And so that's one of the things that I've been writing about. Um, uh, I found out that I had an autoimmune illness and after about 10 years or so, um, I found myself in the hospital needing a liver transplant and uh, wondering if I would be one of the lucky ones to get one. Mm -hmm. And in fact, uh, in October of 2008, I uh, actually got a, a, well, new used liver. And um, mm -hmm. the experience is one that has just kicked off a lot of thought and also a lot of songwriting. So. Uh, now, of course, my mother came in to uh, Reggie's hospital room the very next morning, and she said, <laughs> <laughs> this has been, you know, an incredible experience, but, you know, nothing happens, nothing bad happens to a songwriter, so I know you're going to write a song. <laughs> What's it going to sound like? <laughs> and, and Reggie actually said to my mother, Get his out of my law. room. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but mom so was right, right. And, and two years later, Reggie wrote this next song. So this is uh, called Resurrection Day, and it's uh, actually the title cut to our latest CD. Uh, Open your heart to the rising sun Cause it's alright, it's over Been a long, long journey, but now that's done 
not getting older, you're just getting better. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Thank well, you. we always say to uh, all of our audiences, we say if you haven't signed your organ donation card, and you can do that online these days, and let your families know your wishes, because, you know, uh, you know, if you're able to donate an organ, the folks thing you save might be someone you like. <laughs> so. And at the time that I received my transplant, there were some 15,600 people on the list. So I was on a very long list, and I am very fortunate to have gotten one. I'm very grateful. So we feel it's you know, uh, kind of our, one of our new missions to talk about it, encourage people to, to donate. Yeah. Um, so. Now, you going to play this next song with us? 
Sure. Right. We'd be glad to. Well, we'd be honored to have you. Mm -hmm. We uh, uh, have been friends with uh, Pete Seeger for years and years and years, and uh, he was a great mentor to us in our lives and our career. And so the day he died, actually, we, uh, we went in to sing a song with uh, some second graders. Right, yeah. You know, we have this connection to second graders. <laughs> and uh, so we sang some songs for them, but then we started thinking, what song would we want to write to honor Pete? So uh, this is one of our newest songs. It's called High Over the Hudson. came over the air tonight, Pete Seeger went sailing today, set out on the Hudson about nine o'clock, searching for new songs to play, passed by Bear Mountain making great time, as the water slapped hard on the bow, at Storm King he turned that boat into the wind, set the old Woody G on the prow, now he's high. Sails headed for home. Hard on the breeze as it cuts through the trees. Deep you're not sailing alone. You're high over the Hudson, and you've got one hell of a view. Now your battles are won, a new journey's begun. Deep we're sailing through. Ups and it's down. Of that, there's so much that's been said. Pete spoke out for justice year after year. A leader who actually led. He sang out for freedom, he sang out for peace. Taught through the power of song. Ahead of his time in all seasons of life, he kept us all singing along. Now he's high over the Hudson. Hard on the breeze as it cuts through the trees. We cannot stand alone. High over the Hudson, you still got one hell of a view. Now your battles are won, a new journey begun. Deep, we're singing with you. That you lived your life for 94 years And you lived it with integrity Now we as your children and we as your friends Must take up this vision of song As Toshi yells out with a smile on her lips Hey Peter, what took you so long? Well now he's high over the Hudson Sails headed for home as it cuts through the trees, we do not sail alone. In the high over the Hudson, and you still got one hell of a view. Now your battles are won, a new journey's begun. We're sailing with you. 
Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Way to play song. that. Way to play it. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. My pleasure. So how much time do we have left? Did we get another Just one? about three minutes. Oh, three minutes. All right. Three minutes off? All right. Yeah. Well, what key is Guide My Feet in? It's in G. All right. So come on. Here we go. A song that comes from the days of the Underground Railroad, the days of the spirituals. It's also sung during the modern civil rights movement. Guide my feet while I run this race, because I don't want to run this race in vain. Something we pretty much say every day. Pretty much. Just to so, remind ourselves. <laughs> so thanks so much for having us. And Our pleasure. Inviting us back. And maybe we, we can come back before 11 years from now, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Kimandreggie.com for more information. Wow.